Well, today is a travel day, traveling from our home RV park back to Quartzsite. My husband had jury duty this week and he was released on Friday so we can go back to Quartzsite. In that picture there, you saw me wearing my Everything Auto shirt. This is what the trailer looks like on a travel day have to put the table down for it to slide under there. What's it like on a travel day when you're headed back to Quartzsite? The bunk room gets used as a storage facility, carrying all the Christmas gifts for the grandchildren. We clear everything off the counters. We carry little crates that we put everything in so that nothing breaks. We do a sweep up to make sure we have no dried dog food pellets or rocks underneath the slide outs. Everything comes off of every surface in here. And everything on the floor in the bunk room gets moved because the slide, bed slide goes right under there. All the rugs come up. And in the bathroom, the shower doors get secured. We've got the bunk room slide in. And now the Schwintex slide goes in. This is the one we've been having a little bit of trouble with. If you have trouble with your Schwintex slides, put it in the comments. It's a good idea to wait about 10 seconds afterwards. And this is how much space there is. We can still get the refrigerator open if we open the passenger side slide. Here's another travel day tip. Buy these little bars here and put them in the refrigerator. We usually do that so that your food won't go all over the place. And this last time we forgot to do that. And when we remembered, the kitchen slide was already in and we couldn't access where we normally keep them under there. And when I opened the refrigerator to get a drink out of at the rest area, I found a lot of stuff that fell out onto the floor, a couple of yogurts and a pie. So it's a good idea to put these little rods in there, the tension rods, so that you don't lose the contents of your refrigerator when you open it. I'm getting ready to put the bedroom slide in now. Everything comes off of every surface in here. Rugs get folded up, put down there. Laundry basket down there. We usually keep it up there. Have to keep this area clear because the bedroom slide butts up right against that. Pulled up all the rugs. And we're ready to go. Helps if you push the button the right way and not get distracted while filming a YouTube video. Never had any problems with the rack and pinion slides, only with our kitchen Swintech slide. And you can see it goes right up there. Because of the magnetic door hold that we have here, we're able to keep the door here in the master bedroom open and the one in the bunk room. And now that the slide is in, we can put our empty water jugs in here. And everything in this room is now secure. We've got all the stuff in here ready for travel. We put all this stuff on the table. The table has to go down because the dinette slide goes underneath this cabinet here. This is the center island. 
And so right now we're in the process of getting the floor swept so that we can make sure we don't have anything on the floor. We've already got, as you can see, a little tape there, a gouge that we got when we found a rock that had gotten caught underneath the slide out. And you can see there where it did a little damage. And we're still trying to figure out how to take care of that. But for the last several months, the tape has held just fine. Ever wondered how much room you have when your steps are completely up? This shows you right across from the bathroom door. Here's a couple of travel day tips that are very important to remember. Make sure that you have secured your shower doors. Don't leave it like that. Make sure it goes all the way in the little groove or these will come open and they do shatter. We haven't had that problem yet, but we know somebody who has. And in the medicine cabinet, make sure you put some rods up there because otherwise when you get to your destination and you open this cabinet up if you haven't done that everything is going to come out on top of you so just a couple of little important travel day tips and here's another reminder of something not to forget don't go down the road with your water pump on yes we have done that but we don't do it anymore and another reminder make sure you turn off all the lights if you don't want a dead 12 volt battery. It's time to put the passenger side slide in. I always keep a watch to make sure that nothing is going to hit. And I'll make sure I turn the lights off after I see. All the slides are in as you can see and we're almost ready for travel we're moving to the outside now one of the most important things not to forget is when you're packing up make sure the first thing you do before you pack anything or put any slides in is put your dog in the truck because they get very nervous when they think you might leave them behind. And so she was the first thing that got put in and now she's happy. We use these Lego blocks here whenever we're putting our jacks down or the front end. And I highly recommend using them. They stack so nicely and they have these little rods that go down in them. This is what we look like when the slides are in. On this side, the cinder blocks stay here with our main sewer hose because this is our home RV space. And then on this side here, this is what it looks like when we've got the passenger side slide in. And the steps are in, make sure that you put your steps in and make sure they're clicked into place because otherwise you can do damage to your screen door. And then we'll put this, after we shut the door, we'll put this bar in. The outdoor kitchen that we converted into a workshop for my husband looks like this on travel day. The light will shut off automatically once the door is closed. But everything stays really secure in here. One of the last things he'll do before we leave is get up on the roof and wash our two solar panels off, which are on the back there. We've got the Kurt weight distribution hitch ready to pack up. He's got the pins here so that he doesn't forget them. All he has to do is back straight into there. Mm -hmm. Bars are 
labeled for which side. I don't know that it matters, but they were labeled when we got them. There's the other bar. The system has been really good for us. Another tip when traveling is to make sure you've got your stabilizer jacks up. I do wish our trailer had had auto leveling, but there were only three within a 450 mile radius and none of the three had auto leveling. But just remember that you retract your jacks before pulling out. I have seen this done before. We also block our wheels, not the yellow wheel blocks that you normally see. We use the heavy duty ones. And my husband always marks the spot where our tires are so that when we return to our home RV park, we will have a good range of where we need to park so that all the slide outs can go in and out. Make sure you've got your e-bikes secure. We've got them bungee corded and locked on there and we've got the covers. We've got the spider bungee cord system over the top. Don't forget to make sure your sewer valves are closed. And we have the gate valve there to help. I can't tell you how many times we've been going down the highway and seen somebody having their cap flapping, hanging by the little wire. And just like that, we're hooked up and ready to go. My husband will do a walk around one more time. We're on our way to La Posa South in Quartzsite, Arizona. And we're in the rest area in Palm Springs right now. Palm Springs is a very pretty area if you like the desert and the mountains. A lot of traffic on the road. Must be a lot of people doing Christmas shopping and Christmas travel.